Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of ChartYourTrade.com's free webinar series. I'm your host, Michael Lamott. I'm the founder of ChartYourTrade.com, and today we'll be discussing how to use and get the most out of MarketSmith's annotation tool. I'm a big fan of MarketSmith. I use their product all the time, and you could see a lot of their charts on ChartYourTrade.com and how I annotate them. So today I'm going to show you how to use and get the most out of MarketSmith's annotation tool. First, we'll go over some of the basics. I'm going to go through how to use permanent and temporary annotations. Then we'll go through uh, some ways to color code. We'll show you how to draw lines and channels, how to add notes, draw flags and curves, draw various other shapes, how to change the background and the color, and how to quickly view any stock fund ETF or index that you have ever annotated. I find this to be a very useful function, especially when I'm going back and doing my post analysis. Lastly, I'm going to show you how I use uh, the annotation tool specifically on chartyourtrade.com. So let's dive right into things. Okay, so in order to bring up MarketSmith's annotation tool, there's two ways to do it. The first way is to click the monkey wrench up here in the corner and click on Markup Tool. The other way is to click Notes and Discussion on the left side panel. And you'll see the annotation tool down here on the lower left. You can click this button here and that will bring the annotation tool into the window. You could also use the annotation tool directly from here as well if you don't want to bring it into the window. The way that I like to use it, I like to click the monkey wrench, click markup tool, and have the annotation tool right here in the window while I'm doing my work. Now, uh, the first thing that, that we'll discuss is how to create permanent and temporary lines. Well, first, uh, right now, uh, let's talk about temporary lines because everything else will be a permanent line. So to do a temporary line, there's two ways to do it. You can either uh, go to this symbol over here on the far right and go to line pen, and then you could click your mouse and draw temporary lines anywhere on the chart to your heart's content. To get rid of those lines, simply refresh the page and those lines disappear. The other way that you could do it, if you're using a Mac, you click Command, and I believe it said it right there, yep, click Command and click uh, to draw the trend line, or these annotation lines, and then um, on a PC, you would do the same exact thing, only instead of clicking Command, you would click Control, and then drag your mouse and draw the trend line uh, wherever uh, you see fit on the chart. Okay, so let's talk about some of the other tools here. First is uh, the type of line that you could draw. You could draw dotted lines, thin, uh, medium thickness, or very thick lines. Uh, when I'm annotating charts, uh, stock charts, I'll typically use a dotted line to outline the base. Uh, that's just me. You could do uh, whatever is best for you. I also like to color code everything that, that I do. In the state of the market, you see many different uh, ways that I color code. I color code distribution days, um, rally attempts, uh, you name it, uh, it's there and it's color coded and we'll take a, a look at that a little later on. You can also uh, draw trend lines. You could draw uh, trend lines that will stay um, with the chart. You could, uh, well, let's draw a solid one so you have a, an idea of what that looks like. Here is a sample of a horizontal line that you could draw straight across, medium thickness, and a very thick line. Um, here's another feature. Uh, you can look at uh, when the stock reports earnings, um, and that's flagged by a little green circle in the uh, change date tool. and. What I will sometimes do is flag those days. 
So I'll flag that in green and draw a vertical line on that day. And you'll see that that type of line sticks with the chart as it moves. That's one of the great features of MarketSmith. Okay, the lastly, you could draw parallel lines. If you happen to see a channel uh, on a chart, maybe uh, you might consider this a very, a very brief channel. You can uh, probably better do a one point uh, thin line and let's, since it's an uptrend, let's color it green. You can draw that channel uh, fairly easily. Just click, hold and drag and then again uh, click and hold and you could bring the lower channel line down to uh, wherever it's appropriate. I could leave it right there for now. Okay, next uh, is the note tool. You could draw a little note box uh, wherever you'd like. And Actually, uh, let's annotate the, this chart as if we were uh, really going to, to do it. So let's get rid of some of these lines over here. Annotation feature that we have is the text box. We could draw a text box anywhere and we can type whatever we want and we can uh, even date it if we want. And we can bring this text box anywhere uh, on the chart window. We could make it any size that we want. It is a little challenging to, to grab that. You could only grab it from uh, either the, the sides or from the bottom. You can't grab it from the corners. And to move this text box, you could only uh, move it around by clicking the red section. If you try to click anywhere else in the box to try to move it, it won't move. I'd also recommend to be careful where you place the text box because if you place it too high and you see that the text box goes behind uh, this section over here, now I'm not able to grab that text box anymore. So in this case here, I need to delete it and redo it. Okay, moving right along. Um, here is where we have our flags, or what they call a pointer, and an arc. The arc I use to draw cups and to also draw head and shoulders patterns. Um, next, we have our various shapes. We have uh, outlines of a rectangle or a box. Uh, you could outline a circle. Um, this comes in handy when I'm highlighting uh, a square box space or uh, a certain area of a chart. Uh, this circle outline I'll typically use when I'm highlighting a, a three weeks type pattern on a weekly chart. And these rec uh, the rectangle, the solid rectangle, you'll see me use that all the time on the state of the market where I'll flag something as being uh, X amount of weeks in an uptrend versus X amount of weeks uh, in a correction. And the solid circle, uh, I haven't, feel free to use the, the circle annotation uh, if you so choose. Next, uh, we have the ability to color code the chart. You could change it to any of these colors. I tend to leave all of my charts in the solid white uh, but those other colors are there if you would like to color code further or if uh, you prefer to look at any of the other color options here. Lastly, uh, and this is a very helpful feature, you could click this button over here and view your markup list. This will display anything that you've ever uh, marked up in MarketSmith. So you click that and we get a list of 232 total charts that I have marked up uh, since uh, I've been a MarketSmith member. And what this will also show you is where you, 
where and when you marked up this chart. So, uh, for example, EXR, uh, the last time that I annotated that chart was today, May 10th, 2014. And it shows that I annotated the daily chart and the weekly chart. So this will be a very helpful feature for you when you go back and you're doing your post analysis, you could quickly review anything that, that you've annotated. Okay, so let's jump into how I actually use this tool. So uh, let's use the, this tool on this chart here, Acorn. So the first thing that, that I see here is a potential cup-shaped base. So to annotate that, the first thing that I would do is go to the dotted point. Uh, we're already on the color code red, and I would select the, the arc. I would click, hold, and drag down here to the bottom of the base, let go, and then click, hold, and drag up here to where the top of the base is right now. And that makes a pretty nice uh, cup-shaped base uh, by doing that. Next, uh, I would like to highlight the various areas of important support and resistance within this base. Uh, one of them is right here at 2420, so I would uh, draw a line right there. Next would be on uh, this rally attempt after it gapped down, so we could draw a straight line across there. And lastly, at the very top of the base, highlighting the uh, classic pivot point uh, at this point. After we have all this marked up, I would add a note to this chart. So we could say that it's forming a first stage cup uh, with a classic pivot at uh, 28. There are advanced potential pivots at 2420, and we can click this track price option over here, and it will give us the high, low, and last price of uh, any bar that we're looking at. This is a daily chart, so uh, we're looking at the daily action. So. At the top of this day right here, uh, the high of the day was 24.98. So that would be uh, the next advanced pivot. So 24.98. We see that there's support along the 200 day moving average. So we could include that in our note as well. Support along the 200 day moving average. And at this point, I'm not sure if there's an entry just yet. It did make its way above this early entry here and this uh, early entry there. But for me personally, I would prefer to see some sort of a, a handle built on this chart before. Um, I would consider it. <coughs> so uh, I'd include a note on there as well. So maybe constructive for a handle to form before moving into new highs. Okay, and we can date that if we want. And so I know what we're talking about. I'll just draw a little pointer to the base. And that's more or less how I go about annotating a chart uh, that you see every week on chartyourtrade.com. Another thing that you'll see that I make a lot of annotations on are the indexes. Uh, all of the state of the market. Uh, MarketSmith is a fantastic tool, again, for updating charts, making annotations, and having those annotations stick with the chart uh, and for the life of your membership. Uh, without MarketSmith, uh, it would be very difficult to uh, do the annotations and work that I do on chartyourtrade.com. So uh, again, well, we thank MarketSmith. 
for allowing us to use their tool. So here, there, this is a, a sample of, of the NASDAQ. You'll see that there's many, many different types of annotations all over this chart. There are uh, trend lines, uh, dotted trend lines. Uh, there are uh, dotted uh, levels of support and resistance. There are uh, solid vertical bars indicating when a correction starts. There's uh, text boxes floating all over the place. There are solid bars indicating when an uptrend begins. And there are these rectangles uh, that we mentioned earlier, the solid rectangles that show us when a uh, how long a correction or a rally uh, has been. So since we didn't draw it in the last segment, I'll just draw one right here. Let's assume that the correction ends on Monday. We would just draw the, the box like this. Actually, let's delete that. You could delete any of your annotations by clicking on the garbage can and uh, clicking on it. I don't think that I mentioned that earlier but it's actually better to draw a lighter color since we're just highlighting this area over here. So to highlight this section, just click, hold, and drag. And we would say that the correction was six weeks. So six week correction. We don't know if that's the case just yet, so we will delete that. Okay. I also flag distribution days. I flag distribution days in red. When a distribution day falls off the count, I will change the color to black so that way I know that that distribution day happened and that's where it happened, um, but it's no longer part of the, the current count. Uh, distribution days fall off the uh, account uh, when price action raises 6% above that distribution day or after 25 trading days. So during this rally, all these uh, distribution days fell off the count. These ones remained and sent the market into correction uh, for that period right there. So those are some of the ways that you could get the most out of MarketSmith's annotation tool. Thank you all for watching and have a great day. Thank you all for watching and we hope that you enjoyed this video. If you are watching us on YouTube, please take a moment and click the like button here at the bottom and also take a moment to subscribe to us here on YouTube.